A local woman says the father of her children tried to choke her during an argument. And that's not all. Police also say he stole cash from her wallet and ripped some of the wires out of her car. Ross Gadotti is live tonight to explain how it all started. Ross? Yeah, this young woman in Fayette County was allegedly being savagely beaten by this man. And if not for the help of her two friends, she very well may not have survived it. Her neck is like all welted up. Her ear was bleeding last night. Like she has bruises all over her face. Like he got her pretty bad. It's it's horrible. Uppercutting her, like hitting her like a full grind ass man, gave her kidney shots, rib shots. It was I don't terrible is not even the word. Elizabeth Warnick and Jessica Bodkin are still in shock after witnessing Christopher Nicholas Foster allegedly brutally attacked the mother of his children. Investigators and the victim's friends say it started when Foster wanted to use the woman's car. He wanted the keys to the van. It was a no because he was going to go get drugs. According to Bodkin and Warnick, Foster, a man with a violent criminal history, began beating the 23-year-old woman identified as Heather Nicklow, the mother of three children. He hit her at least 25 to 35 times, the victim's face and body beaten. Jessica Bodnick jumping on Foster's back in an attempt to stop the assault. She's just shaking, couldn't say anything, and I'm bawling my eyes out. And Chris just, he did not care. Foster ran from the Spring Hill Township residence, and instead of taking the woman's van, he so wanted. Interesting thing is after he was done assaulting this victim, he went out and uh, pulled the wires out of the engine to sabotage the car from being used. Foster ran off on foot. The victim's friends, as well as state police, say he needs to be caught, and he's done this before. I'm very fearful for her life. Next time, he's probably going to kill her. Foster remains on the run tonight. If you know anything about his whereabouts, notify state police or your nearby law enforcement agency. Do not approach him, as he has a very violent criminal history. New at 6, we're going to tell you a unbelievably frightening statistic we learned today about domestic disputes and assaults in Fayette County. That's at six. Please join us then. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.